Stand up and start shaking all of your limbs, getting, re getting ready to do some really, really fun action. So let's do this.
well done everyone you did such such a great job so much fun singing with you praising god with you and dancing with you so i'm gonna hand it back to eva and the rest of the team Good morning and welcome. My name is Julie and this week we're continuing on from our previous weeks that we've heard about uh, two weeks ago, Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit came and anointed all the people with the Holy Spirit, all the believers received the Holy Spirit that day and the birth of the church. And then last week we were learning about the Trinity, three in one, God being three parts in one, God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. And so this week we're learning about continuing our faith on and journeying with God and what he wants us to do and how we are expected to do that. And so this week we're looking at Romans chapter 5 verses 1 to 8. And I love it because it's titled Faith Brings Joy. Because that's what our faith should do. It should bring joy to not only us, but to people around us as well. But how do we do that? How do we continue on in our own faith journey with Christ at the centre? And so this morning I've brought my little Russian dolls to help us understand Romans chapter 5 verses 1 to 8. So we're going to read from Romans chapter 5, verse 1 to 8, using the New Living Translation. And um, the title uh, in the New Living Translation is Faith Brings Joy. And that's what we are hoping that our faith will do, will bring joy to all those around us. So let's read from chapter 5, verse 1. Therefore, since we've been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ, our Lord, has done for us. Because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privilege where we now stand and we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. We can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials, for we know that they help us to de develop endurance. So from Christ, we develop endurance. And endurance develops strength of character and character strengthens our confident hope of salvation And from salvation, this hope this hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us, because He has given us His Holy Spirit to fill our hearts. When we were utterly helpless, Christ came at just the right time to die for us sinners. Now most people would not be willing to die for an upright person, though someone might perhaps be willing to die for a person who is especially good. But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. And we have that hope of our salvation that strengthens our character, that helps us to endure, to keep going all 
Christ Jesus. So is not that wonderful that we know that we have hope in our salvation of knowing God that will strengthen our character that will endure forever because we are in Christ Jesus. Let's pray this week that we would have all five of those things, that we would have hope, that we would have our salvation in God, in Christ Jesus, that we would have strength of character and that we would endure forever, keep going, all because we have Christ Jesus with us, beside us, and in us. Amen. So this week, we got a bunch of cards dropped off at the house, and I love them so much. They're filled with encouragement and love, and they're just awesome. Uh, but Buddy wanted me to show you his favorite. Are you ready? I wonder why it's his favorite, huh? So that's his favorite card. And I also got something else. I got a birthday cake. And it just made me think, have you had a birthday during lockdown? Well, if you have, then I'm sharing my cake with you. I wish that we could have celebrated your birthday in person, but please know that Myself and all of the leaders from Sunday School and Sunday Space, we are thinking about you, we miss you, and we are celebrating you from afar. I just wish you could help me eat the cake, hopefully soon. So this week, I reached out to our judges, and they have determined a winner for our Memory Verse Singing Competition. I hope you're ready for this. Now, I will warn you, I had to call them at 2 in the morning, so ignore my tired eyes, but I think it was worth it because we had a good time with them. And at the end of this video, there's some secret raw footage from that conversation, so stay until the end, okay? All right, well, let's see who won. All right, so we have my mom and my dad back to judge our latest competitions. Now, we, um, we said your artistic history. So when it comes to singing, what is your experience? I have a vivid recollection of the time that you and your mother and I went to a local college when you were, I think, in junior high to try out for the musical and you and your mother were told to take parts, singing parts, and I was told to go to the back of the auditorium to keep the husband occupied during rehearsals. So at least for what, three, four months, I got to listen to all the things that the director said. So plus, I have some experience in watching Brin's Got Talent. <laughs> Okay. My experience is just singing in school and singing in, in a choir now and again, and singing in the bathroom. play and talk at the same time or recite the verses. Very good. As you know, I cannot sing, but here we go. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Luke 15, 24. Bye. Wow. Wow. Woo. Very good. good. Good try. He's got the Nike go for it.
Luke chapter 13, verse 24. Good. Very good, Liam. Good job. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and now is found. Luke chapter 15, verse 24. Good. All righty. Yes, very clear. Good dancing. Very good. for multiple <laughs> reasons. <laughs> Emphasize too that they all did really well, didn't they? Yeah, anybody who can walk and chew gum at the same time, that's great. Or well, maybe they could all have some candy, even Buddy. <laughs> all right, well, I think that's a good idea. So, um, everybody who sent in a video will be getting sweets delivered uh, to your door sometime in the next two weeks. So, be looking forward to that. Though, I don't think that Buddy should get sweets, though. Thank you guys so much, and I'll, I'll see you in November. So there you have it. Our singing memory verse competition has officially ended. Congratulations to Rory and everybody who sent in an entry. I will get those sweets to you shortly. Did you see my parents' face when I said that I wasn't going to give Buddy any sweets? They were highly offended. They're proper grandparents, grand doggy parents, I don't know. Anyway, uh, we've got to watch our figure during lockdown, right? Maybe he'll get some dog treats though. All right, so Ava and Archie have sent me some pictures. We're gonna check those out now. If you have a video or a photo of something that you've been doing during lockdown, don't forget to send it my way and it will get featured in Sunday School and Sunday Space. We love seeing what you guys are doing. Thanks everybody for joining us today. We love spending Sunday mornings with you. We hope that you have an amazing week.
and we will see you next Sunday. Guys so much for your help. You're welcome. You guys had a hard job trying to figure out who the winner was. Yeah, it's always it's always a difficult job, but somebody has to do it. Yes. I hope you're enjoying Sunday school and Sunday space. We really enjoy watching it here, and a lot of our children that go to our church are watching it too. So um, they're having enjoying it, don't they? Uh, we teach Sunday school, and I did the fatherly thing. I let my daughter do all the work, and then I send it to my children or our children so that they can watch it also. And so everybody's benefiting from it. Yeah, so they love to watch. Well, they enjoy it all, but they really love to watch Buddy Alexander. He's, <laughs> they think he's amazing. <laughs> so They like you too, Ava. Yes, so. yeah. Yeah, but Buddy Alexander, he's just uh, such a wonderful guy. So. And, you know, the people who give your stories and your lessons, they're all well thought out. Uh, I have nothing but high praise for everybody for what they're doing. Yeah, we have a really, really great team over here, for sure. They're all very dedicated. Wonderful. Yeah. All right, well, thank you guys so much, and I'll, I'll see you in November, but hopefully we'll be able to see each other on screen soon. Yeah, exactly. Okay, give my love to everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.